Welcome to the Nicholas 11x12 technology. Today we're looking at something very special, the EXP graphics display card version 6.0. This is an external graphics card adapter for laptops, so basically a mini PCIe to PCIe adapter. What this basically does is convert the mini PCIe slot that you have in your laptop into a full-size desktop PCIe slot. This adapter will therefore make your laptop fully recognize this full-size PCIe slot, which means you can install desktop graphics cards or any other PCIe cards and use them with your laptop. In this video, I'll show you how that works and how to set up something like this. Before I move on, I'd like to thank Banggood.com for providing me this product and therefore making this review possible. First of all, included is the adapter itself. This is the full-size PCIe X16 slot. But don't worry, you can also install X1, X4 cards, or basically anything under X16 as well. That's the HDMI connection, which connects the adapter with the laptop via mini PCIe. Here's an USB port to plug in a separate wireless adapter for your laptop, since in most cases to get to a mini PCIe slot that we need, you have to remove your wireless card. Here's a power connection for smaller, more compact power supplies and a power connection for the more powerful power supplies. On the side is a 6-pin power connection which is where you plug in the cable that's also included for additional graphics card power requirements. Here's the mini PCIe to HDMI cable to connect the laptop with the adapter. The HDMI side goes into the adapter, the mini PCIe side has to be installed into the laptop. Fortunately, I got the more powerful power supply. That's a 220 watt PSU from Dell. On the PSU itself, even is an LED that shows you whether it's active or not. On the PSU is the power plug. It goes into the adapter and will power up the PCIe slot. However, if your graphics card requires more power than the PCIe slot has to offer, you will have to use this additional power cable, which has an 8 pin and a 6 pin power connection. You just plug the cable into the additional power connection on the adapter and plug in the required connections into your graphics card. On the adapter also has a tiny switch here to fix issues with the start screen or hardware issues regarding this adapter. As you can see, the power supply makes use of a standard connection. However, I've been sent this power cord with the needed converter, but unfortunately the power adapter doesn't work. But no problem, I guess most of us own standard power cords, and if you don't, they're pretty cheap. Also, a small screwdriver is included for taking your laptop apart. Alright, now let's focus on the installation. First, we have to locate the mini PCIe slot. Most of the time, the wireless card sits in one. This means unplug everything and remove the wireless card. Then install the mini PCIe card with the HDMI cable on the other end, and don't forget to put the screw back in. Then plug in the HDMI cable into the adapter and also plug in the power plug from the power supply. Then install your desktop graphics card into the adapter's PCIe slot. For this example I'm installing an older Gigabyte HD 5770. And since this card requires additional power, we have to use the included power cable. Plug it in on the side of the adapter and plug in the 6-pin power connector into the graphics card, since that one's needed here. Now that everything's wired correctly, we need a separate monitor. I'm sorry for the dusty components, but the laptop isn't mine by the way. The monitor is however, which is also dusty. Then connect the monitor with the graphics card installed on the adapter. Then plug all the power cords into your power outlets and fire up your laptop. If you've wired everything up correctly, the graphics card should start working and the adapter will light up with a blue LED. The next step is to install the graphics card driver for the card that sits in your full-size PCIe slot. And to prevent driver conflicts, just disable the display adapter of your laptop, in my case the ATI HD4330. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, I can now use the graphics power of the HD5770 I've installed on the adapter. The laptop doesn't heat up as much anymore since I've disabled the laptop's display adapter. Unfortunately, in most cases you still won't really be able to play games smoothly since most entry-level laptops come with very weak processors. However, at least you now can game. You could still turn down the screen resolution to make the game more playable with higher frame rates. And keep in mind, I ran this demanding game with an old Intel Pentium T4200 dual core CPU. As you saw yourself, this setup works fairly well and isn't very complicated to set up. However, I have to warn you, not every laptop will allow you to use such an adapter. For instance, I tried the same adapter on an HP Compact laptop and it just wouldn't post. 
all I saw was a black screen. But luckily the MSI laptop had no problem with this adapter and accepted it. I'd say such a setup isn't very compact and not really mobile at all anymore, but it's a cheap option if you want to game at home with your low performance laptop. Also I forgot to mention, you could even install high-end graphics cards into the adapter, but you will have to use a more powerful ATX power supply, since 220 watts isn't enough for the high-end GPUs. And that's pretty much all I have to say here. The adapter works flawlessly and it's fairly cheap as well. For me using such an adapter was quite an interesting experiment and I'm positively surprised it actually works. Therefore I can definitely recommend the EXP graphics display card version 6.0 external graphics card adapter. Once again, thanks to banggood.com for providing me this adapter and therefore making this review possible. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube. Also to support me and to make future videos possible, please disable your ad blocker. This is the best way to help me out. Thank you.